Hi, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness. Today we're going to talk about uh, the Taurus G2C or their G2 series, G3 series, the hitting advantage of that particular polymer pistol. And we're going to talk a little bit about shooting. And uh, I got some extra surprises as well. So let's get started. So let's talk about Taurus. The gun we're going to look at today. is the Taurus G2C. Now a lot of people hack on Taurus, some of them legitimately, some of them just because they're jack wagons that like to feel superior to other people. My gun's, better, my gun's better than your gun. And you know, hey, I like this gun a lot. I, I like their steel snubbies. Now all Taurus guns great, no, they some you kind of want to say, ooh. Uh, anybody remember the view? Others are kind of, you know, so-so, but you know, some are very good. Uh, I'd give this one a B plus. Now, what is this hidden advantage that the Taurus series, the G3s, the G3C, the G2C, what is the advantage they have? Well, it's these finger pads. Now, this is for your thumb and your forefinger. You know, keep your finger off the trigger unless you're ready to shoot. But if you use a thumbs forward grip, there's a hidden advantage. When you grip the gun, you actually can put your thumb in that pad. And it helps with stability and accuracy. Alright, let's talk about shooting. Now for most people, especially for beginners, I recommend that you take a shoulder width stance, you know, knees slightly bent, you know, have a firm foundation, and that you use an isosceles stance. And what you're doing is you're looking over the top of the gun, and you're coordinating your whole body from your feet up through your torso into your shoulders, you're utilizing your eyes all at the same time to get smoothly get on target. Remember, slow is smooth, smooth is fast, a lot faster than most people realize. All right, so you want everything to be smooth. You want the flow, especially if you're practicing a draw. Now, if you draw that firearm, you don't want to swing it around. You want it to come up your body and everything to be smooth. Now, let me talk about the weaver just a second. Weaver stance, nothing wrong with the weaver. Uh, it's more of uh, you, uh, a experts, uh, more skilled for somebody to be able to utilize the weaver. I get a little irritated at these tactical wannabes that watch some tactical channel and where they're like, Oh, oh, that's old. That's old fashioned. Well, la di da. <laughs> it's a tool. It's a stance. Some people are actually going to shoot better with Weaver than they do with isosceles. If so, that's the stance that they need to use. Now, but for most folks, I recommend isosceles, especially in the beginning. Now, I have uh, a couple of show and tells I want to do real quick. I collect patches. I want to thank David from Virginia. Thank you, David. Uh, these are going to go in my office, in my display case. Now, the crazy Scotsman sent me this uh, Mora Niv. They're made in Sweden. And I've ha I have one of these. Uh, they make very good camping knives. They're, uh, it's full tang, it's a thick blade. They're a little bit hard to sharpen, but it's well worth the trouble. I've used uh, everything from cutting brush to cleaning fish. Thank you, Scotsman. Now, maybe letting the cat out of the bag, but this is making the rounds to uh, many of Mr. Holster's YouTube buddies. Uh, this is going to uh, 
Batjack JW, and I carry one next. And this is a, a, a shirt that we're all signing to give to Mrs. Holster. Now, speaking of Scott, Mr. Holster, AKA Scott Thorfinson, you know, he was uh, a 1911 guy. And in honor of Scott, I've got this full-size Rock Island Armory GI A1 model. Now it's very basic and that's what I wanted. I wanted something very basic, very simple, very straightforward, kind of like Mr. Holster. One more, one more thing. This young fellow right here is my grandson Elijah. He's been helping me today around the house and he helped me some with this video today. Say hello, Elijah. Hello. All right, and Elijah wanted me to say this. Like, share, and subscribe. And as Santee would say, See you down the trail. On down the trail. See you on down the trail. All right. That was good enough.